Hi everyone, my name is Miss B. Hanley, and today we are here to talk about the age-old argument of nature versus nurture. So in the theories of human development, there has been a long debate about whether or not humans evolve through their genetics or whether we grow from our environment. So we talked about this in a previous video, but today we're going to go into a little bit more depth in this particular debate. So let's take a look. Nature versus nurture and developmental theory. So there are a few different questions that come up when it comes to the conversation of nature versus nurture. The first question is how much of genetics is related to behavior or does genetics affect our behavior and our cognitive growth? The second question that comes up is what role do children play in their own development? Are they just passive acceptors of different factors or do they actually influence their own growth and development? The last question is, does development have distinct stages or is it continuous, meaning it doesn't, or is it discontinuous, meaning it does? We're going to answer all of these questions today and go into a little bit more detail about each of them. For each of these questions, I've also included down in the description some links to reading if you want to further your knowledge about this subject. So let's take a look at our first question. How much of genetics is related to behavior? According to most scientists, genetics relates mostly to physiological and anatomical development, meaning it really depends on our physical development and how our chromosomes are set up. Hormones are also related to genes and can affect behavior and induced stress, which causes certain developmental changes. Certain physiological factors can affect cognitive development, but for the most part, it has been related to physical development. When looking at the environmental side of this debate, certain social factors can actually affect physical development as well as social emotional development as well. Envir environmental effects mostly relate to cognitive development, but external factors can most often influence behavior and development. The overall agreement for most scientists is that developmental theorists cite a mixture of both nature and nurture that affect our behavior and our development. So let's take a look at the second question. The second question is, what role do children play in their own development? So on the one side of this, can children influence their own learning and development? Usually scientists say that children are passive up until a certain stage of their life. And the other question that comes up with this is that can a child be genetically motivated? Meaning can they have certain genetics that make up a more motivated or interested child? The other side of this says that children develop a sense of self as they grow, naturally. Children can affect their own learning and development once they've achieved this stage in life, and environment can help support that child motivation to be influencers of their own development. The last question is, does development have distinct stages? So we're going to be taking a look at a couple of different theorists in this department because they differ on their beliefs of whether development is continuous or discontinuous. So the three theorists that we'll look at that believe it is discontinuous or that it has distinct stages are Lawrence Kohlberg, Jean Piaget, and Eric Erickson. All three of them have detailed their beliefs of certain stages. For Kohlberg, it's moral stages. For Piaget, it's cognitive. And for Erickson, it's psychosocial. All have led to other advancements and discoveries in our own development. There are two theorists that believe development is continuous, meaning that there aren't specific stages in our development. And the first is B.F. Skinner, who is a famous behaviorist. And the other is John B. Watson. Both of them believed that development was continuous, meaning there weren't specific stages that children developed at. We're going to be taking a look at all five of these theorists' belief and stages in another video. But let's continue the discussion. 
I want you guys to think about your thoughts on genes and environment and how they influence our behavior and development. So you can leave your comment down below or you can post your comment in our Schoology page. Make sure to respond to at least one other person, ask a question or add new ideas. That's all I have for you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Your support is so much appreciated. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in class. Bye.